Welcome back, MDRN, and this is the start of this week's tournament arc in Mecha Bellum, a 1 vs 1 auto battler with giant mechs blasting each other to bits with lasers and rockets. We're going to be playing against Disformis, who's got a similar amount of combat power to us, as our first opponent. Ooh, I've been looking forward to this tournament all week. Here we go. Okay, we have Rhino, Heavy, Elite, or Quick Supply. I think I like Rhino the most here because it's got tanks and crawlers to begin with. But we won't get benefit from our starting specialist until turn 4 when the Rhino arrives, so we're playing at a deficit to begin with. Opponent is Aerial Specialist with Mustangs and Marksman. Okay, so we have to go Marksman as well, because he's Aerial Specialist and might go a turn 1 Phoenix play. Okay, we're going to have to protect our tanks as well, we can't do our patented late arrivers because there might be phoenixes or those snipers targeting them straight away off the bat, and those guys would be too good at killing our tanks to leave them exposed. Two in and two across, my usual spacing for the tanks. Right, let's see what he's thinking. I'm playing quite fast here, so we can see his planning and positioning phase and gives us more time to prep for the next round as well. Plus, I might be very well caffeinated right now, it's two in the morning. Three marks from the midline and central mustangs. Interesting. This is very non-standard positioning. Everything so close together, a single bombard or even the free missile in turn two would cause mischief. But he still hasn't spent any money, so let's wait and see what he buys. Oh, there are the crawlers, makes sense. That's a shame, it means our snipers are not necessary this round. But it's always good to have anti-air cover. Wait, what? He's put his crawlers behind the Mustangs? That is not an effective way to use chaff. You want your chaff body blocking bullets so the Mustangs can shoot from safety. You don't want the Mustangs catching bullets for your crawlers. Because right now, those Mustangs are going to walk straight into our tanks. This looks really good for us right now. We killed half his Mustangs for free. The chaff battle is about even, but then we've got tanks left over and he's got nothing. Once our tanks start shooting snipers, it's all over. They just can't survive those kind of hits. Yeah, we're looking very good here. Positioning is absolutely critical in this game. You can't afford to waste units or throw them away. Ooh, this is bad for us. Everything here is great at killing tanks. I think we have to take the Scorpion though, and try and eke out a positional advantage. Let's give them a buddy, and use them to bodyguard our snipers. Scorpion's one of my favourite units, but it's very vulnerable to Stormcallers and Phoenixes, and has a hard time getting through chaff on its own. Right now I'm debating another sniper in the midline, or some crawls on the side. Yeah, Marksman's best here. Phoenix is offered, and he's still showing those three midline snipers. Feel a little bit naked at the back on both sides, but we can fix that next turn if we need to. Don't forget to unlock a free unit when you can. See what he's thinking. Ooh, immediate overlord. I am so glad we got this midline sniper. Now let's just hope he stays at arm's length from that scorpion and doesn't die unnecessarily. We'll need to get anti arrow range on him to keep him safer. He's gotten onto the scorpion. Oh yes. It'll take him forever to kill it though. Wow. That thing is a machine. This looks good. Only problem is the Overlord can one-shot the Scorpion if it gets a full barrage off on it. But our snipers are tag-teaming him down nice and quickly. Great round. He'll be feeling the pressure now. Ooh, has to be laser sights, nothing else makes sense for us here. And we're at risk of ending up in a ranged duel. Let's take our upgrades. You could debate that that laser sight should go onto a scorpion, but then the marksman doesn't have a bodyguard. I'd rather the marksman was the one winning the aim duel than sitting further back. I think we definitely need some more chaff. Didn't like seeing the overlord shooting at our tanks. Little bit nervous about an overlord flank attempt or a crazy wasp play. Really want range in our snipers. But there's only so much money per round, you've got to prioritise things. Let's take damage up, because he's got a few beefy targets. He's put his laser sight on the Scorpion, makes sense. And Stormcaller is a good answer to our own Scorpions. Thankfully we've got some extra chaff to distract them. He's very boxed in here, I'm thinking about a flank play myself. There's his attack up, great minds think alike. But fools really differ, so I'm not sure which one we are. So things we've got going for us, these tanks are now higher level. 
making them harder to kill and hit harder in return. This sniper with the laser sights will be an absolute menace. He's going to get his level up here for sure. I want him to become a monster. Yeah, we're looking solid. Our chaff's overrun his. We're going to have crawlers on his storm crawlers. And the tanks have a clear line of sight to his back line. So our next play is going to be sniper range to keep him a little bit safer and help cover those flanks that I'm nervous about. Hopefully he gets the XP. Does that level him up? No, not quite. 650. That's a decent amount. Hmm. Whew. We've got our Rhino. Will our Rhino do much against this lot? Maybe if we let him. Let's get Mobile Beacon. Oh, oh, I've still got this up. Wait, it let me move the Rhino even though I hadn't picked a reinforcement? That's interesting, it doesn't normally. Nano Repair on him is fun, makes him very hard to kill. Right, there's our Mobile Beacon going this way. Good stuff. Upgrade you, you've earned it. Range on our snipers. 300 left over, what do we need? Hmm, we could drop some crawlers over here. That would pull these Mustangs across, but I kind of like the Mustangs rushing in and dying. To quote Napoleon Bonaparte, never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. That's why I'm perfectly happy leaving these guys plowing straight into us. I think we're going to have to do two more snipers, because we've just upgraded them and we're a little bit light on anti-air and our opponent is an aerial specialist. So he's going to be thinking about big air plays. There it is. Wasps with speed. Oh wow, he's giving them jump drives off the bat. Okay. So we're going to rely on our snipers to clear the wasps. And ooh, a cheeky missile. I like it. Afraid it's not going to get much value here. At most it'll just hurt and slow down the scorpion. And then we are 50 gold up for the rest of the game. Nice. So these wasps are quite far forward. Let's us have front position Mustangs maybe to deal with them. <laughs> this rhino distracting half an army on his own, just waltzing around with these little midges biting at him. We've not been able to get onto the scorpion early enough though because of its laser sights. We're gonna get this tower, but it should decide the round for us easily. <gasps> no! Uh, I can't believe I've done this. We missed the tower. Oh my word. <laughs> What? I've never done that before. I just... I... Just casually walks past one tower, walks up to the other tower, kills it after the round is over. You know, rhino things. And now he's just standing there, glorying in his own magnificence. He looks so happy with himself and smug just standing there. Got mine. What? You wanted more? Ah, <sighs> Hang my head in shame. I'm still traumatized. Okay, new round, new me. We got this. Some good choices here. The Vulcans would annihilate the Mustangs and the ground forces. The Phoenixes are nice to contest the skies, and even the Steel Balls are a good handy source of extra chaff. But I think my actual heart is going out to Fortress here. I love closing out with Fortresses and Missile Barrage versus Aerial Specialist. Particularly when they've got Wasp without shields. It's going to be a massacre, and I love it. Because I am a monster without mercy. This is a tournament game, and no quarter shall be given. Sorry, dude. Prison rules. No mercy. And which one is likely to be last man standing? These guys are going to the right, so we'll put on the guy on the furthest left, because he'll be alive at the end of the round, so the regen will have the biggest effect. Temp range, push 200. Level of our snipers, 200 left over. What is worth 200 that we can buy? Upgrade the crawlers? They're not doing a lot of damage though. Hmm. There's no upgrades for the tanks. There's no upgrades for the snipers. There's no techs we can get. I think we've pushed 200 unnecessarily because we can't really spend 200. I'm just going to slam a couple of shields down in case there's a missile play. You never know, they might last till next round anyway. Alright, let's see how this goes. So he's gone Vulcan. Not bad, but it's going to have a hard time getting through the fortresses and the tanks. Oh wow, Siege Mode. Nice. And Acid. Ooh, good pick into our giant. 
Acid deals percentage health based damage, so the bigger the hit bar, the faster it goes down effectively. It's a really good counter to high health units like uh, fortresses or war factories. He's struggling there. We've got crawlers breaking through here on the right. And there goes the last of his giants. Will we have enough units left to kill him? I think so. Depends how many kills this scorpion gets before we bring it down. I think it's all over. Yeah, GG. That'll be a rough first game for him. Let's try and build his spirits up so he doesn't just abandon. We want everyone to enjoy the game. Alright, let's have a look and a think. Didn't really use the regen mod in that final round. He was very bunched in. Pretty formation, but not an effective formation, I don't think. This scorpion with laser sights, don't think it needs siege mode. It could just have normal range. And to be honest, I wouldn't go two upgrades for a single unit. Those upgrades could be better spent as incendiary bomb on the Vulcan, or fire incendiary bombs on the Stormcallers, or cannon on the Overlord. Overlord with a cannon is one of the exceptions that we'll make for a single unit upgrade. The wasps need to have shields on them. If you've got a large number of wasps, you must have shields on them. Mustangs need range. Crawlers need to be in front of your Mustangs. You don't want them running through while the Mustangs are getting shot at by tanks, because then the tanks can get two for one as they hit the Mustang and then kill the crawler as it's running through. So we were playing a much more open formation. I would call this fairly standard. He was playing very defensively, so far back. His only chaff was two units of crawlers on the back wall. And everything he owns is in this little box. I'm not sure it was enough. I think he must have missed a few unit drops. These three snipers are very close together. They're overlapping, so they're going to shoot at the same target as each other and waste bullets. And marksmen shoot so slowly, you don't want them wasting those bullets. They're valuable. I think I would always play my Mustangs on the flanks to counter flank attempts and to spread them out from the other units. They're not running into each other or walking over spots where fire might have already been dropped. It seems like a small thing, but positioning really matters. And he was very light on chaff, which kind of pushed him into Wasp, which is the aerial specialist chaff, I suppose, but they're expensive and they're very fragile. He forgot to use his nano repair kit. It would have been good on either of these Vulcans or even the Overlord. He didn't push rapid resupply for the plus 200 and he didn't take temporary range either. Those are both chances to sort of save your last round attempt. You're trying to maximize your chances to survive another round for that Hail Mary big pickup or the right play. You've got to take rapid resupply and enhanced range if you think you're at risk of dying. Anyway, I'm sure I made mistakes too. Rhino missing the tower being a prime example. Oh, that was embarrassing. At least we still got the win and started our tournament strong. 700, not bad. And we've lost 600 insight because I had to leave a game I was spectating as the tournament began. Which is a shame, but it's my fault for leaving it that late. Right, let's see where we're at. Ninth. <laughs> Deja vu, we've been here before. Well, more games to come and we'll see where we can end up. Thank you for watching as always, hope you had some fun. Let me know if there's anything I did stupid apart from missing a tower with a rhino. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for the next game.